Dryland mushing sports like canny hiking, can across, and bike drawing are all dog powered, which means that the dog is out in front and pulls you. For some dogs, being out front with pressure on the harness and line comes very naturally. For others, we need to spend some time conditioning them so they learn how to feel comfortable and confident line out. when running out in front of us. In today's good. lesson, we will learn how to begin teaching our dogs right, that go. pressure in their mushing harness is a good thing, and we will put it on cue with line out. I'm Chelsea with Positive Features Dog Training and Behavior. Thank you for joining us today. When working on line out, we always want to have the dog in their mushing equipment so that they associate this behavior of pressure with this specialized harness. We will start by holding the harness and clicker in one hand and using a food lure in the other hand to guide the dog forward. I will click when there is pressure on the harness and then release the treat from my luring hand. After a few repetitions, you should see your dog gain confidence. When luring forward and pressure becomes easy for your dog, you can then connect your dog to an object and repeat the luring process. In short two to three minute mini sessions, you can lure your dog into the harness and bungee line. You will click and treat pressure while keeping a close eye on any stress signals that your dog might display. Some dogs become worried about being tethered to an object. If you notice that your dog is hesitant to put pressure on the line, you can always go back a step and click and treat while holding the harness. You can also hold on to the line just behind the harness while the dog is tethered to help stabilize it. You can see here that I am beginning to prep Lennon for my cue line out, which means to put pressure on the line. I click and treat pressure and then I toss a treat backwards so that he has to release the pressure on the harness, setting him up for another repetition. Once pressure into the harness is easy for our dogs, we want to fade the use of our food lure and just use a visual signal. We then want to work on fading our visual signal so we're left with pressure on the line with only our verbal cue, line out. Here you can see that I give my verbal cue, line out, and use my luring hand, this time without any food in it, to guide him into putting pressure. I click and treat the pressure, and then I toss another treat backwards, which sets us up for another repetition of the behavior. Line out. While continuing to develop our line out behavior, we also want to begin to move our position in relation to the dog. During all dog powered mushing sports, we give the cue line out while behind the dog, asking them to move away from us. We can then connect our can across belt to our dog so that with each repetition, we can slowly move behind the dog so that they are moving away from us to put pressure on the line. Here you can see as I begin to get Lennon to move away from me, I use a stationary food dish to help give him a target to focus on. I toss a treat into the dish, give my cue, line out, and then allow him to move forward towards the dish. I click when there is pressure on the line and then allow him to walk forward to retrieve his treat from the dish. You can repeat this exercise, slowly increasing the distance between you and the dog until eventually the dog can walk your whole line length in the line out behavior. Go ahead. After some success, you will want to alter your treat delivery and only introduce the food after the behavior is complete. You will stand in front of the bowl just as you have been, cue, line out, and once you feel pressure, click and toss the treat into the bowl in front of the dog. After that, the last step is to begin to add distractions outdoors. When I move outdoors for the first time, I do hold the line to decrease how far the dog has to walk. I stand stationary, give my cue, line out, click pressure, and deliver the treat in front of the dog. You can either walk forward and deliver it to the dog with their head straight, or you can toss the treat out in front of them to continue that forward momentum. I get the dog's attention and call them back to me with their name, a recall, or a hand target. Then with the dog by my side, we are set up for another repetition of the behavior. As the dog does well, I will slowly add more of the line through my hands so that the dog is walking more steps before they feel pressure. I repeat this in short two to three minute mini sessions until the dog is confidently reaching the end of the line. 
With repetition of this behavior, you will have a dog that can confidently put pressure on the line, which will bring you one step closer to being able to hook up and run with your dog. I'm Chelsea with Positive Futures. Thanks for watching.